In this lesson, we're going to be talking about doing application scans using a map. Now, you may be wondering why we're going to use a utility for application scans that's not nmap, because of course nmap is really good at doing port scans. Well, in this case, what we're looking to do is actually determine the protocol that's listening on a particular port, as opposed to just identifying the port as being something that's probably running a particular protocol just because that's what's well known to work on that particular port or in the case of some ports where we can grab banners and we can figure that out. So some ways of doing port scans, you can actually have it grab the banner, it will display the banner so you can see that that's actually the application that's listening. Sometimes though, that's not adequate. There are applications that may not actually generate a banner. So we need something like a map. A map will map the applications, and it will figure out what protocol is actually running and what applications really sitting there behind the port. We can also grab banners, or we could just be a plain old port scanner similar to what Nmap does. So this is what Amap does. And let's take a look at it now. I'm actually going to run Amap against a system on my local network. And I'm going to say port 80. Not surprisingly, it comes back and says it matches HTTP. Of course, port 80 is HTTP. So if I were to do port 25, should come back and say SMTP. It also says NNTP. So presumably, we got some responses from the application there indicating that it does net news as well as mail. Now, I've done well-known ports here. What if we've got something that actually runs on a not well-known port? And can AMAP actually figure out what protocol is running there? I've got an Apache server that's running on port 76. And it came back very quickly and discovered that it's HTTP and it's HTTP Apache 2. And actually that's what's running on that port. I can show you right here if I were to connect manually to port 76. I would get a connection and now I could just do this and sure enough it says Apache 2.2.22 and we've got an Apache server there. So you can see that AMAP is not just simply a port scanner figuring out what ports are open and what's probably listening there or just maybe telling you that the port's open. AMAP actually goes and figures out what application is running at that port based on checking its database of known interactions, known protocols, how things behave. So it runs through, checks all of those things, analyzes the results that it gets, and then determines after it's done all of that, that the protocol is actually this particular protocol and what it tells you the protocol is. So that's application scanning using a utility called AMAP. 